coach, welcome in the trench. In uh, you just signed the contract with uh, our club. What's the feeling now? First of all, thank you for welcoming me here. I mean, it's uh, first to say it's honor to be part of the trenching, to be part of the, this community, this football club, and uh, I'm happy to to start from from the new season with the, with trenching. Uh, what to say about the trenching? What are your information? Oh, I have uh, many information, uh, especially the history where I first. Uh, I couldn't even say fall in love in the way that I saw Trenčín was uh, in the Champions League qualification. I was uh, in Partizan Belgrade, assistant coach, and uh, I was uh, following the game Steaua Bucharest against Trenčín. And uh, I was in the second game in Bucharest with empty stadium, and uh, Trenčín lost the game at home 0-1. And we was preparing uh, Steaua Bucharest game, and I came fo to be focused on Steaua. And uh, after 20 minutes, Trenčín was leading 0-2. But it was not only point of the point that they were leading, the way they played, the way they represent football. Uh, I was so happy to see that kind of uh, brave, hard-working team. And even from that on, I was remembering and I still follow the players, uh, Lobotka, Vesli, Jairo. I remember that team and... Uh, from that moment, I was always paying attention on Trenčín. I know that the club had uh, some difficulties in last period of time, but uh, I'm fully aware of the situation and I'm happy to bring some new energy and uh, to try together with everybody in the club, with our fans, with our community, to put back Trenčín on the track when it belongs and I think deserves. Have you ever expected or in the, the, the times you will come to the trenching and you, you will try to continue put him back on the good way but you know every everything is life comes with the reason i believe and uh, this kind of challenge i am fully aware it is difficult and i'm fully aware that uh, we all have to be patient we, it's part of the process but uh, what i do in football the way i believe my football philosophy is uh, completely completely the same uh, with trenching with philosophy of the club uh, with the philosophy of directors owners and uh, with philosophy of this city we need to work hard we need to believe what we do and uh, there is uh, no other way around so this is one of the challenges that i accept with open hands because i know it's a healthy environment it's a good environment and uh, I can't wait to to start working with the with the with the players. Is it too early to speak uh, your opinion about the players because the team is full of very talented players? Uh, Slovak national team players uh, are on the World Cup now under 20. Uh, usually was uh, very talented international player here. W what's your point of view? To be honest, I never speak individually about any players. This is a team sport, and I always try to when I speak to them. Individually, I do that in private to try to help them and develop them. As you know, sometimes it's always different approach, individual approach. Some players, uh, you need to help them, to hug them, and with some you have to speak differently. Just in the manners to help them grow, develop, and succeed in the life. Uh, football, from talented to be a good player, to be a top player, it's a ro long road. and. All of us, our job is actually to help them succeed. So all of us needs to be, all Slovakian people and the people in Trenčín has to be proud of the players that they are playing on World Cup. It is uh, really difficult to get there. I was a Serbian head coach of national teams from different categories, under 70, under 21, even senior teams. So I know how difficult it is. And uh, especially for me, uh, it's very important and uh, I feel even now proud that Trenčín have uh, five even more players who are here in the youth categories so means that they help a lot not just uh, Trenčín as a city as a club also to Slovakian national team and, and the country. Uh, you spoke a few about your philosophy. You are former uh, forward attacker. Uh, is it something what we can expect it? Attacking football, attractive. 
Listen, there is always a different, uh, different way to understand and to see the football. Uh, for me, I don't uh, understand anything else except to build up something and to do something what I really feel and I, li I like. Uh, attacking football is a part of my life philosophy. I don't uh, see life and football staying back and waiting for something to happen and waiting for mistake of somebody else. I try always to construct things, to build things and I only believe in building good things for the world. I think that anybody who come to watch the game, he come to watch for the beautiful things, for the goals, good passes, good duels and uh, everybody who start playing football as a kid, they start playing football, I always said, because they wanted to play with the ball. So that kind of mixtures, like somebody make it simple, it's attacking football. It's not just attacking football, it's also organized football in all departments, but mainly point is to win through your own game, through your own philosophy and to always try to be progressive in, in all departments.